previously on Investigations 2. Aren't you that Harry Butts guy? Wrong, I'm Larice Donum. Neither of those two names are the right name. Besides, I already got my ass set on the culprit. What? Who, pal? What? Wait, I, I'm... Who am I? Well, naturally, that's Arthas. Oh no, here we go again. Oh man. Now, where was I? Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2. I don't know if my controller's gonna work here, we're about to find out. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I can't do this voice at the beginning of a recording session. That artist was the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best suspect. The poison gas was caused by Normalium, a chemical found in paint, right? As he was carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. The paint along with being the first witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. What do you have to say to that? Wait, was I wrong? We cannot ignore the possibility. I mean, it was a pretty shitty presentation, but, you know, we'll live with it. Mm. Larry's like, man, don't be accusing my ass. I got Edsworth over here. He's gonna get me off the hook. The only thing I leave behind is my bond of love with... Or wait a minute. It's, it's wrong voice, my bad. Please watch what you say. I do not take kindly to flirting. Unless it's from that hottie over there. My gavel is already prepared to declare you guilty. Yeah, it's worth backing that ass up. Please pay no heed to this man's statements. Hey, hey, you guys! Ignoring my reasoning just because it's flawless won't do you any good. Mr. Edgeworth, if you've already admitted defeat, you should take your leave. I'm gonna take my leave? What am I, some person? Even though I don't really have time to deal with your ridiculous reasoning. Man, oh man, how did we end up in the present time like this? Alright, anyway, that artist was the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best suspect. That all means squad. Indeed, at first glance, this man seems suspicious. However... I say however nothing, at first glance. What's with that first all of a sudden? You're a YouTube troll or something? Actually, I was, but I was trying to make it more, you know, so you wouldn't notice that I was doing that. Why well, don't make this any more confusing than it already is. Mr. Best, continue your reasoning now. Oh, wow, bossy as worth. The poison gas was caused by normality. I'm a chemical found in paint. Well, that's great. Does that mean if somebody died of carbon monoxide poisoning, that it's my fault because I brought a glass of coke in there? That didn't make any sense, I know. Right, so the red paint is definitely suspicious. Well, so is your hair. But it's also used to things other than paint, right? I suppose you have a point. But I will not acknowledge that. Because it doesn't help my case. That's right, Normalium is also used in detergent, for example. And all of our clothes are clean here, so I don't see why that would be an issue. That's not true. Let me finish my reasoning. Alright, what you got? Even though you already said it. If scaring the paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. Okay, well... That one seems a little out of place, but... Even if paint is the cause of the poison gas, that does not mean he is guilty. Ha ha ha! Well then, if the paint is not the cause, that don't mean he's innocent either. Now he's just trying to sound clever. Mimicking what Mr. Edward says won't make you look cool at all. <laughs> Oh, man. Now then, it's about time to wrap up my shining logic. Your shining logic is no better than that of two ten-year-old girls standing in the hall of the hotel building. <gasps> that paint alone being the first to witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. Okay. You truly claim that Larry is the culprit based on just that? Oh, you got a problem with that? If you have a problem, then present evidence. So, uh, don't mind if I do. Looks like he really wants you to do that. Indeed, then I will do as he wishes and present evidence. It seems he doesn't pay much attention to what other people are saying. There's a clear contradiction in Mr. Best logic. Why even bother making the phone call? Because he had nothing else to do. Oh man, Edgeworth is just so dumb. I'll tell you, man. The honest was the first we heard you already. So, what do we even have in here? Because I haven't been looking. Holy sh- I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to look at it. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Why are you asking for my opinion? Don't you see? 
this evidence contradicts your testimony. He's like, nope. No, save him, Justine. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Ow, yeah, gotcha. We'll judge Courtney here. Mm. Also, you don't need to push the buttons on your controller so fast. Take your time and look at your evidence. That's all you have to do. Besides, I think it's fairly obvious what you're looking for here. Okay, so what I was I was gonna look at this. The white fatalium mixed with the red normalium causes a chemical reaction. So, well, I mean, the thing is, for him to do this, he would have had to have the fatalium too, right? But we haven't seen hide nor hair of that. So, the paint along with being the first witness pretty much proves he's the culprit. I think that might be the one we want. Mr. DeBest, what do you think about this piece of evidence? I think I'd like to take a bite out of your help because it tastes like a Swiss cake roll, man. It's white fatalium mixed with the red normalium. It's weird, because I don't think I'm entirely wrong there, but I might have had the wrong statement. See, so if near the victim, he would have had... Where was I? Poison gas was caused by normalium. Okay, maybe this one, actually. Because it's not caused by normalium, it's caused by the two of them put together. Bingo! Okay, that was actually pretty easy. I was just being dumby. What else is new? Mr. DeBest, your logic is more akin to a shooting star than a shining star. Hit. <laughs> It shines the best like a shooting star, right? <laughs> My voice changed it again. It may shine brightly for a brief moment, but then it burns itself out. The poison gas originated from inside the glass case of the Pisces sculpture. Exactly. So that's where the artist slapped the gas, right? He used the normalium in his red paint. As your senior, let me give you a word, nickel's worth of free advice, young man. Make like a tree and get out of here. Poison gas is caused by mixing those two things together. The normalium contained the paint reddens off, but it's not enough by itself. Oops. But I thought I heard that normalium caused a fatality. This is not Mortal Kombat, son. Darn it. By the time Larry discovered the victim, the room was already filled with poison gas. It's time for you to realize how incapable you really are. It's time, about high time he opened his eyes and realized tell you what, man. You tried to use that word earlier, and you still don't know what it means. T he means to say, you are lacking in ability. I get that, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. I get it! You're making fun of me again, aren't you? Maybe. I'm really saying you were incapable in your investigation. She's not gonna have that. Oh, here comes her music and everything. It's time for her to shine now. Before you insult Sebastian, I still have some doubts about your own statement. What kind of doubts? See, now he takes it seriously when he knows he's up against someone who knows what they're doing. For all we know, Mr. Artist could have simply entered the Autumn Palace at an earlier time. That's... Bullshit! No. Moreover, do you have evidence that the red paint is unrelated to the case? The most important thing now is not the red paint. The red normalium and the white fatalium. Exactly how were these two substances mixed? I believe that is our main concern. Also, look at the color of your cape. Looks like somebody mixed some right and red, right, red and white to make that. Were it not for your interference, we would have found that out by now. I didn't say that last line because it went over my music. I never intended to interfere with your music or you. On the contrary, I'd like to cooperate. Don't tell me you're going to say how the cause of the poison gas! I'm saying that you know it, actually, I mean. How the poison gas started, I have something that may shed some light on this matter. I believe I do. Sebastian, do not fall for his bluff. Come now, it's fine, really. Let's hear what he's come up with. Very well. If you say so, Sebastian. Come on, share us! How did the poison gas start? Started by, um. I see Scared, Purge Palace photo. Let me take a look at this again. Because in the picture. Yeah, see how it's pink down in the bottom? That's probably how it started. You dummy! Don't you know the red white makes pink? Which is what he wears. Sure, you're not saying this is a cause of poison gas! 
It seems even you've noticed it. Or perhaps not. Duh! It really stands out! <laughs> Those red tears that Larry saw were undoubtedly normalium. Huh? Wait a second! If those were chemicals, does that mean a ghost sent off to poison gas? Gas? I don't have time to play along with him. The red tears of normalium could not have triggered the poison gas by itself. That red liquid was mixed inside the case to create the poison gas. What? Just where do you see evidence that your chemicals were mixed? That can also be seen in the sketch. I know it's Larry and everything, but g give the guy some credit. He's getting pretty good. Here's the evidence. Right there! A pink liquid can be seen flowing out from under the case of the Pisces sculpture. I don't know why I'm... That, this is proof the two chemicals were mixed. Hold on a second, I still don't get it. How does this show that normalium and fatalium were mixed? Since we have a self-proclaimed artist here, I'll let him explain. Larry, you fancy yourself an artist, so you should know about mixing paint, right? What do you add to red to make pink? Don't take me for a fool, Edgy. I'll have you know I graduated from middle school. You add white to red to make pink. It's common knowledge. Well, technically, there's rose pink, baby pink, and several others. But for those, you need brown. Or purple. Or perhaps a dash of green. Don't ask me why. Because roses have stems, and stems are green. Never mind. By mixing red normalium with white fatalium, you got yourself a little Kirby dog. Yes, exactly, although Kirby has very little to actually do with it. Mm, uh, I see. Looks like Mr. DeVest finally gets it. It's, well, it's about time. Prosecutor Edgeworth, you have merely presented one possibility. Do we really know if the color was the result of the two chemicals mixed together? Well, it sure would have to be a heck of a coincidence for it to be something else. For the poison gas to go off and that not be it. I mean, actually, uh, looking at previous cases, maybe. <laughs> but I doubt it. I cannot put much faith into it. Well, of course not. I just painted what I saw. How could that be a lie? Mr. Artist, I do not watch Case 3-5, so I don't know whether I can trust you or not. So cold, but that's part of her charm. Of course I intend to bring the truth to light immediately. What, you're overruling the truth? You've done gone too far, Missy. Ought to go to answer my question from before. How do you know that Mr. Artist did not enter the Autumn Palace? Because I saw him. He's been with me the whole time, much as a... I hate to say it. Hey, can we find that out if we talk to the victim pal? Sorry, I had to swallow some boogers there. Or not boogers. Shut up. The victim, Dan Gustavia, remains unconscious and in critical condition. Ah, uh, that's right. <laughs> Wish we could talk to him and see what was going on in here. Did he somehow maybe rig it? I mean, it's, I don't know who else could have at this point. Man, don't be telling us to get out of here. You get out of here, too. With us. What are you doing, Larry? If you were to take a stand in court, you'd cause a lot of trouble for the presiding judge. Been there, done that. Is there something you'd like to say, uh, Mr. Artist? Hold your horses, Miss Cool Beauty. My name is Justine Courtney. Please don't address me by such a strange title. Oh, you finally told me your name. Please do me too, Justy. I'm Larry Stoneham. But you can call me Larry, and you can yawn, too! Mr. Artist, please get to the point. I just remembered something I haven't had a chance to say yet. When I first got through this room, it was locked, so I couldn't go in. But then that old dude just suddenly fell through the door. It would appear that the palace rooms can be locked from the inside. But just because you say it was so doesn't mean the door was locked. Without proof, your statement holds no value. Ray coming in to save the day. So, why don't let Uncle Ray prove it for you? What? After all, only I can make you cross your arms uh, defensively over your chest like that. Because that's how badass I am. Hmm. 
And this is where I got confused before and thought they went to the other room. Holy crap. That... Mm -hmm. Which means he had to have already been in here. I mean, just about. It depends on how long we were in the other room, though. As you can see, this man did not inhale any of the gas. If you examine his belongings, you'll find he wasn't carrying a gas mask either. Is that so? Well, then I had no choice but to agree. I agree! Consent! Haha. <laughs> that than I expected. Anyway, I presume this clears up any suspicion surrounding Larry. It seems Mr. DeBest's logic was off once again. Yeah, rub it in, Edgeworth, rub it in good! Wahaha, well, not exactly. I did, just didn't have enough information, that's all. Therefore, my reasoning was just before its time. He sure has a grand way of rationalizing things, huh? You're off, Larry. Have a good day. <laughs> Dude. Overruled. <laughs> Your cold demeanor leaves me mesmerized all the more. She doesn't care. This other suspect is. Ah, oh, she's going for deletion now, huh? It would have been difficult for this artist to obtain the fatality from Megatoxic X. Blech. But a pharmacist may have knowledge of how to do that. The court? Uh, what? The, we're not. Oh my god, dude. You have delusions, the likes of which I ain't never seen. Oh man. Man, she wasn't making a pun with your name. It just happened to come out, that's all. Well, there he goes. Poor gumshoe. Off to do more work. Don't tell me Judge Courtney suspected her from the very beginning. So Mr. DS logic wasn't any help at all. Judge Courtney. So what is she thinking? I'm not sure. Well, to be continued in the I can't help but feel like Oh, that's so weird. I mean she has she's totally aware of it too, how so, I mean like oh jeez. I wonder, man, I just like, I almost can't help but feel like he's playing dumb or something. I just don't know. I mean, how much of this... Oh, man. I, I don't know. She said it would only be a ten minute recess. They sure are taking an awfully long time. And you know what? It's cold in here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Prosecutor DeBess presents Miss Delicia Scones. Yes, he calls we here. It's all delicious goods, and this new way, delicious drugs. But you can call me this delicious. That, that, that's. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing the most annoying voice in the world for her. Oh, nice to be too, Betsy! They got straight to nicknames. <laughs> hey, it's Gregory's son. Oh! Guess he knows to meet you, Miley! Do not ever call me Miley again. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me the greatest boy, I guess it's the time that I'm getting old! I mean, you look exactly the same. I'm like, you're crazy. Uh huh. Something plus 18, let's put it that way. Sebastian, isn't there something you'd like to ask this pharmacist? Oh, right, yeah, Mr. Delicious. Could you tell us the reason why you came to the gallery? Yes, sir, I came to see the cure, okay, sir? I've been friends with her for 18 years, and I've been through quite Is it true, Miss Pharmacist, that you also assisted in the treatment of Mr. Gustavia? I guess you could say that, although I don't need to do it with the doctor! <laughs> it's too fun. It's too fun doing that voice. Wow, you ain't the antidote on the spot? <laughs> yes, sir, as long as I have the right ingredients, I can be cured drunk easily. If I here is well equipped, you see, it's straight up sending him to the hospital in critical condition. We treated him right away! And you know what we can do? Rest. 
He fits upon his body's ability to recover. You know that victim, Miss Delicious. You see? Although it's been 18 years since I last saw him, I only knew that he had become a world famous space fisher. Yeah. It's victim that famous. Is he more famous than me? I heard on the news that he won a competition for new jelly desserts! <laughs> that reminds me. I do remember him mentioning something about studying design and saying fuck. Yeah, that's right. Man, I oh. If he was- man, he's gonna be connected to all of this somehow. Something about, like, with the president. You know, when I was- oh my gosh, when I was editing, like, the first couple episodes of this and I saw him, I wondered if it was possible that he somehow was connected to Rook and Knightley. Or, when I first saw him, I thought maybe he was Rook, but wait, that wasn't possible, because this is after Rook got killed. So anyway, never mind. Now let's get down to business, Miss Pharmacist. Are you familiar with the drug Megatoxin X? Yes, it's a drug that used to kill those things! It's mega effective! Mega effective? <laughs> because the effects are so potent, it's not valuable to the general public! What are those things you're referring to? Bugs? It's a drug for anguishing the creatures that strike fear to the heart of a baby! The ones that often infest kitchens and the like! Think I know what she's talking about. <laughs> so, Miss Pharmacist, may I ask you one more thing? Do you know what happens when you mix Normalium with Fatalium? Yes, I do! It's even written on the warning label for making lots of eggs! As it is with eggs! Ah! But the two drugs are mixed together, it can be going actually cause and a gas is released! Inhaling a large amount of this gas can cause breathing difficulties! And even death! From the amount of poison gas, gutsy breathing! I think there was probably at least 500 milliliters of each chemical in the gas! So one liter to- that's a lot! Wow, oh man, um... Normalium is an adhesive liquid that becomes hot as soon as heat is applied. Yeah. Also has a red color and a minty fragrance. Due to its low cost, it's used everywhere! Fatalium is a white watery liquid! That's enough for now. As expected of a pharmacist, you're very knowledgeable. Well, you gotta know something for something. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, huh? Not just anyone has access to it. It's so potent it's a poison that it could be sold to the public after all. Boy, it's just like that other thing that, um, from Apollo Justice. Thank you, that's all I need to hear. I can't stand anymore listening to that voice. Was she hiding behind that smile? I don't know, I don't. I don't know, no, no, I don't know. Larry's over there sketching. I don't know what he's sketching, but I want to see it. Oh, Flatfoot, have you made progress in the investigation or something? Yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> cool. The glass cases that contain the sculptures can be opened by a mechanism in the lid. What strange cases? The temperature in the cases can be lowered down to zero Fahrenheit. The inside of the Pisces case was set to 27, so my hand nearly got stuck to the ice. Good thing it didn't! So then... From the lid of the Pisces case... Will you take the slight traces on Normalium? Eh, not bad! Oh, well, if the Normalium was in a glass case at a temperature of 27, then... It would have been frozen to the lid! Yeah, really? So, what happened? Mr. DeBest, why don't we try borrowing the power of K's little thief? I think the circumstances will be easier to understand if we use our Mr. Thief. Huh. So you really want to help me out that much? I ain't doing it to help you, bub! I'm just here to find the truth. If you don't like it, shove it up your old eye hole. Take your eye out first, preferably. I ain't being bossed around by this guy. But to arrive at the truth, I'll do it. That's the way, that's the spirit, Kay. Stop acting as you please. The goddess of I f the goddess of fuck has no need of your power. <laughs> Don't be such a stick in the mud, Courtney Pie. We have approval of the prosecutor in charge, so what's the problem? Could it be there's something the PIC doesn't want us to find out? That's none of your concern. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking though. I think it's more like something she doesn't want the PIC to find out. 
but uh, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. Hmm, I think, uh, wait, that's not what he just said, right? Anyway, um, you set off the poison gas? That was important, like, whatever that was happening there. That was foreshadowing for something. 